Emerald Lagasse, and welcome to The Essence of Emerald. You know, today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite ingredients, scallops. You know, in Europe, they're called Coquille Saint-Jacques, and uh, not only are their names a little bit different than the way scallops are eaten are different, too. You see, in Europe, scallops are sold live in the shell, and uh, Europeans eat the entire scallop. On the other hand, here in North America, we buy them shucked and pretty much only eat the mussel pot. I'm going to show you uh, just one of my favorite scallop dishes. And these are some fresh scallops. And there are all types of varieties of scallops. And matter of fact, at the restaurant, and, and a lot of great restaurants in America today, uh, there's a great man in Maine, Mr. Rod Mitchell. Rod, I hope you're watching. I know you watch out there, Rod. But Rod is uh, Rod Mitchell wonderful fisherman and uh, responsible for getting a lot of great live scallops to some great American restaurants and uh, we use them at the restaurant and I appreciate your hard work up there in Maine Rod. These are some little little small little baby scallops but I was saying in Europe in a lot of the fish markets this is uh, when you go and get scallops we're kind of spoiled they're already shucked here and um, when you buy them in Europe in the fish markets this is how you would buy them. And uh, you rinse them up uh, real clean and very easy to shuck with a clam knife or scallop knife. You just want to sort of break the back of the mussel. And then they'll open right up, see? And that's the whole scallop live right there. Let's see if we can get that. You see, that's the, that's the mussel part of it right there. And this is uh, actually the row part of it um, around, which is a, really a delicacy. And this is usually the, the scallop part that we're kind of spoiled. And um, think about this. Some of the scallops that uh, we use at the restaurant are the size of uh, almost like a little bit bigger than a... Uh, sort of the size of a ping pong ball, flattened of course. That's a big scallop. We get shells that are like this big from Rod Mitchell. And um, there's so many great things you can, you can do with them. I'm going to show you again, if you do and have the opportunity to buy them live or get them live, uh, you clean them up real good. And then simply with just a little knife, if you just shuck them right in half, as I'm doing here, you see that? And then what you can do is actually you get the, get the row of the scallop. And the one thing that you do want to do is you want to rinse these properly because there are a lot of sand, uh, just like, you know, like little neck clams, etc. There's a lot of sand in those, so you want to rinse them really, really good. And uh, as I begin to start shucking some of our fresh scallops, uh, when we come back, I'm going to do and start an incredible scallop dish, one of my favorites that I do at the restaurant and at home, and that's coming up next. Stay with me right here on The Essence of Emerald. Welcome back. I'm Emeril Lagasse. Thanks for staying with me right here on The Essence of Emeril. You know, this next dish will just blow your company right out of the water here. Simple scallops. And before we go ahead, I want to tell you a couple of things. You know how I always uh, try to give some tips about doing things quick, doing it easy, doing it tasty, doing it ahead of time. This is one of those dishes. And there comes a time in the spring, and after that really, really hot, cold winter, uh, it comes a time where scallops just become available. And it always uh, seems to be that they're available also when asparagus come into season. So here's a little combination of asparagus and scallops that are just a really fantastic combination. And I'm going to show you how simple this is. But first, I was telling you about some different scallops. Here's some beautiful scallops. You know, New Bedford, Massachusetts, not far from where I grew up in Fall River, is the scallop capital 
of the world. That's right, the scallop capital of the world. These are some beautiful uh, sea scallops. You can see how big these are here when they were shucked, as I showed you earlier. And these were the ones that we were working with, which is also a little like a bay scallop. One of my favorite scallops of all time are those delicious, sweet Nantucket scallops when they come available. You see the size, the difference of size of the scallops. These are pretty tiny, but sweet and tasty. Now, these are great for if you want to sort of broil them, uh, oven roast them, sort of maybe do a little gratiné with them. Uh, you can saute them, and they, they, they're good in sauce, but they're not going to take a long time to cook these guys right here. Whereas these here are perfect, what we do, uh, we like to use these and sear them at the restaurant with maybe a little andouille crust or with asparagus, which I'm going to show you right now. Now, when we have asparagus, as you can see that I have these right here, there's uh, two things that I like to do with the asparagus. At the bottom ends of the, the tips, uh, these are the tips here. What I like to do is save these. We're going to save those to make a little relish with those, a little garnish, a little relish. And then the uh, tops towards the bottoms, as I have right here, you can see that you line them up and cut your tops off. Now, I blanched these earlier in some salted water. That's why they're beautifully colored green and they're uh, very crisp because I cooked them al dente. But here's the thing is that you, um, when you trim them, and depending on the size of the asparagus, you also want to uh, see that this is still tender. This is still very, very, very tender. And so what I'm going to do with those pieces, I'm going to save those for our relish as well. You see, these are still very tender, the tops of these. So we keep them. Mmm, -hmm. delicious. Now, the bottoms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut them in pieces, you see. You can see they're getting a little bit not as tender towards the base of the asparagus. You, they really you hear that? Now, what I like to do with these is we'll saute those up in a little bit of oil. Just very simple. A little bit of oil, real quick. And some salt. And a little bit of freshly ground pepper. Cook those up. Now I'm Go back here and these are tender. Use these for my relish and the bases. Now, you don't have to do a scallop dish to use up those base of your asparagus. Make a delicious soup as well. And we're going to make a delicious sauce with these. What we're going to do is we're going to saute them for a couple of minutes because they've already been blanched. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some onion. Add some onion. And then what we're going to do, once we cook those, is we're just going to simmer. I just add a little bit of stock, or you could add some clam juice, or you could use a little fish stock. You could just use some water. You just want to use some water to cover it. And then we're going to let that simmer. And then I'm going to show you later, I'll check the seasoning out, mm. how to finish that. And right now what we're going to do is, We've got our scallops that have been shucked. We've got our tops of our asparagus for garnish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to finish this relish. I've got the tops of the asparagus right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of oil, good olive oil, because we're going to rely on the flavor and the taste of that oil. I've got a little dice of red pepper, a little dice of red pepper, sweet red pepper. We're going to add some red pepper in that. Now, if you don't have red pepper, you get yellow pepper. You use whatever you like. Maybe you just want to use a little bit of red onion. 
Instead of red onion, I'm going to use a little bit of shallot that have been just hand chopped. And also, when I think about shellfish like scallops, I think a little bit about dill. Dill goes real well with that. So add a little bit of fresh dill inside of our relish. And then I've got the olive oil in there. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, lemon juice, a little citrus, and uh, squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon juice. can always add more in there. I'm going to take the seeds out. Just discard them. We'll mix up. Isn't that beautiful? Kind of reminds me of Christmas, these colors. Now, what's missing? What's missing? That's right, some salt and pepper. That's what's missing. And we're going to add some of that right now to really just flavor this up. A little salt, some freshly ground pepper. And now we've got like this really delicious relish that we can make ahead of time and keep it right in the refrigerator until we're ready to cook this. You can even do this in the morning, in the afternoon. Got the sauce, you can do that ahead of time as well. And uh, I wanted to take the opportunity to share something with you, as I occasionally do. First of all, let me put this gadget right over here. I was really just blown away when I got this. And I appreciate you writing in, but this is a corn cutter. And we're going to use this here on the Essence of Emerald. But I had a very interesting gentleman from Newport Beach, California. Thanks for watching out there, Newport Beach. Mr. Jeffrey Larkin. He says, Dear Emerald, not that you're going to read this letter personally. Ha ha! See that? We fooled you. We do read it right here on the TVFN. And I thank you for sending this, and I thanks for the tips, and I appreciate you writing in. And I'm going to use this corn cutter right here on the Essence of Emerald. You better believe it. Thank you very much, Jeff. Now, our sauce is simmering, our scallops are shucked, and we've got this delicious relish that's just ready for this dish to be finished. And right after the break, I'm going to show you how to make a dynamite dish with all of those combinations of scallops and asparagus. Stay with me. We'll be right back on The Essence of Emerald. Welcome back. Emerald Lagasse here on the Essence of Emerald. Hey, Jeffrey, thank you very much again for that. And you watch because I'm going to use that, uh, that cutter. We're here. I'm excited. Scallop, something I grew up with. And uh, we've got our relish of asparagus and a little bit of pepper and herb. Our sauce is simmering, you see? Simmering away and tasting really delicious. And I'm going to show you how to finish that. We've got our scallops. And now I'm going to uh, finish this dish. But before I do that, uh, I've got to share this uh, because this was just really touched my heart. Uh, I got a little letter here, and um, it's from David, uh, David Schubert, and uh, from, from Bellbrook, Ohio. It says, Dear Mr. Lagasse, my name is David Schubert. I'm six and a half years old, and I like to cook, and I watch a show with my dad. And would you please send me a picture with your autograph? And David, the picture's on the way. And I'm glad that you like to cook. And uh, thanks for watching. And Dad, thanks for watching out there as well. All right, here we go. Simmering away. Watch how we're going to just sort of finish this up a little bit. I'm going to uh, add a little bit of uh, cream. And once the cream is in there, what I'm going to do is add just a tiny bit, not a lot. You know, dill's one of those, those herbs that can just, like, take over. I mean, dill moves in and takes over. Hey, don't overdo it. You know, there's some herbs that you can do. Like, you can use a lot of parsley. You can use a lot of cilantro. You know, but there's some things like dill and, like, thyme, uh, rosemary. They, they just sort of, if too much, they take over. Now, this is optional. 
but I like butter. So I'm going to finish this with a little bit of butter in this sauce, okay? I'm going to finish this with a little bit of butter. I'm going to stir that butter in. And when you're using whole butter, which is not only going to give a little body and texture, but uh, it's really going to give it some nice flavor. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to let that simmer a little bit. I think we're going to re-season this with a little bit of salt. You hear what I said? Re-season. That's what it's all about with cooking. When you're cooking, you should season. It's like food of love. And then you come back. Woo! And then you re-season. That's right. Now, watch how simple this is. I got a hot skillet, and I'm going to add just a tiny bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil in a hot skillet. And then, I think we'll use some of these scallops. I'm going to use the nice sea scallops, and I'm going to add a little essence, a little spice. Use your own spice if you like. You see that? And then we're going to sear these. We're going to start searing them. Make sure you drain the water out of them. How many scallops do you like? I think today is going to be six. That looks like the perfect entree portion for me. You see what we're doing? We're searing these guys. We're pan searing them. We don't have a lot of, they're not just in there in a whole pool of oil or just a lightly oil just to get them nice and seared. Turn them over. You see that? Nice color already. love scallops. So many great things that you can do. Something so simple. Now, while those are searing, we've got our relish right here. What we're going to do is um, we're going to check on our sauce. And like I said earlier, you could do this really ahead of time, the sauce, right? Really do this ahead of time. Now, watch what we're going to do. We're going to take this I amaze myself again. What we're going to do now, I got a little blender. I'll take our sauce and we're going to just add this right inside of our blender. And then what we're going to do, just blend this up. Be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to put too much. See that nice color already we're getting out of there? Now, what we're going to do, come on with me here, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these scallops over again. You know, you don't want to overcook them. You don't want to cook them till they're, you know, all dried out. I, I like my scallops, you know, medium rare to medium. And these are getting really, really close. So now we've got our scallops right there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this sauce pot that I had, right? Take our blender. Oh, boy, that looks fantastic. And the asparagus, we used a lot of the uh, stems, right? So what you want to do is you want to strain these back out. And this is what you can do ahead of time. Strain them back, back out. Get all those. See how delicious that is? Now, you could just have this as a soup. Now you've got two things. You've not only got a great asparagus sauce, but you could also use that as a soup. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to take some of our sauce and we're going to put that right on the bottom. See how nice and beautiful and, and this keeps right in the ice box. You can just keep it right there and it'll be fine. See that? How delicious that looks? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our delicious relish that we had, set that right in the center just like that. And then our scallops, we just place them around like that. 
Doesn't that look fantastic? Woo, boy, is that delicious. Look at that. And that's a beautiful, simple scallop dish. What can I say? Scallops, asparagus, a great match. I'm Emeril Lagasse. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow on The Essence of Emeril. Bye now.